Have you ever wondered why financial institutions, global leaders and experts think India's time has come? India is on the rise, the shining star, the brightest spot, the breakout star of the decade, etc, etc. We know, if not all, you must have heard at least one of these phrases before. IMF has said it, the World Bank has said it too. The UN recently applauded India for pulling 415 million people above the poverty line. West believes it. PM Modi's recent visits to the US and France and the red carpet treatment India got are all evidence of India's potential. But if any of it makes you wonder why, you should watch this video in full. Because recently, one of the world's biggest money managers, which manages $2.2 trillion, the Capital Group, published a report. In the report, it claimed India is a breakout star of the decade and will dominate emerging markets in years to come. The report is detailed and you should read it. But if you can't, then watch the full video and you'll find out everything you need to know about India's rise. First is the obvious one. For a country to grow economically, political stability is the first and foremost requirement. PM Modi is now in the last few months of his second term. A strong government is crucial for pushing much-needed reforms. And that is the second reason. Aadhaar, Biometric Identification System, GST, UPI has streamlined processes and expanded credit availability and have also regularized previously unregularized sectors. These reforms, Capital Group report claims, will help India unleash its economic potential. Infrastructure boom. Railroads, roads, seaports, airports are being built at a rapid pace. India's road network stands at 1,45,240 km today compared to just 91,287 km 10 years ago. India now has 140 operational airports compared to just 74 in 2013-14. Connecting far-flung places with all-weather roads and by other means is crucial to ensuring that the growth everyone keeps talking about is inclusive. This is exactly what the infra boom in the country is going to do for India in decades to come. And that brings us to reason number three, make in India. Manufacturing of mobile phones, home appliances and electronics has picked up in the recent past. Auto, semiconductor and defense sectors are also picking up. All of this is good news for the Indian economy. If you've been wondering about the bull run in India's equity market, you should know that India represents a significant portion of the MSCI Emerging Markets Index, with ample room for expansion in small caps. And the money is flowing into India's equity market. India's real estate sector is another opportunity. It is expected to reach 15% of India's GDP by 2031. The sector is still underdeveloped, which means there is plenty of room for expansion. And this expansion will contribute significantly to India's overall GDP growth. One of the developments which has helped India benefit the most in recent past is the diversification of global supply chains. As countries diversify their supply chain risks, India stands to benefit furthermore. If India continues to remain stable and can maintain consistency in policies, it can continue to attract Teslas, Microns and Foxconns of the world to make in India. Energy transition is the next area of opportunity. India is preparing to become a major green hydrogen hub and also taking big strides in solar, wind and hydropower generation. Indian corporations are actively positioning themselves to compete with China throughout the value chain of clean energy. This will help India in many ways, including helping the country reduce its reliance on imported oil and gas on which India spends a lot of foreign exchange, but also help India in becoming energy independent and give a push to the manufacturing sector. Demographics This is again an obvious one, but a trained young population is the biggest source of India's strength. And there's more. With inflation within RBI's comfort zone and corruption at a decade low, India is itching to realize its potential. And if you've been with us so far, you don't have to wonder anymore about the phrases you keep hearing. These are the reasons Indian economy is expected to do well in the coming years. Watch this space for more such videos. Do like, share and subscribe them in. The tomatoes look good. What should I grow next year though? How can my farm adapt to climate change? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.